the next question I had was about kind of what to do when you notice your mind starting to, especially when you're doing reading calm, where your mind's starting to trail off and you're starting to think about, uh, you know, you're just, you go into panic mode and then you realize three minutes of reading, I didn't even understand or grasp any of what I just read. What to do in those circumstances? I mean, do you just check yourself really quick? And because sometimes when you start to think about other things, it just snowballs and then the whole, and then you say, hey, I have 10 minutes left. I don't know what to do when I'm freaking out. Yeah, sure. Great question. This happens so much because reading comp is incredibly boring. So that's, yeah. that's totally understandable. And part of that relates to reading with a purpose, reading with the structure of the passage in mind. So as you're reading, you've got to constantly be asking yourself, what role does this play in the passage? Is it a viewpoint? Is it a, an opinion, a theory, a hypothesis, essentially a conclusion? Or is it evidence and details and supporting examples? Or is it a, a person or a group of people advocating something? So constantly categorizing the information that you're receiving into one of those buckets and then seeing if it's aligned with one viewpoint or with another viewpoint. So if you're slipping, just checking yourself back to, is this viewpoint, is it evidence, is it someone advocating something? And then the other thing you can do is you can caricature or exaggerate the various viewpoints in the passage to dumb them down, to simplify it, and to make it more engaging. So a lot of times I'll see that a common theme in reading comprehension is objectivism versus subjectivism as, a, as one common philosophical trope that they, they bring up again and again and again in the more academic humanities passages. And so if you can caricature those two camps, it makes it easier to relate to. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.